All right, so we'll make this really quick only because I do want to post a video and not make it take like a half an hour to post. Um, in order for me to record on my phone, I have to do about four different things to it to go from uh, video to actually going to um, YouTube. So in any event, as you guys can see, the countdown is one day away. So that'll be Sunday for me. And I don't know exactly what time it will be for everyone else. But on Sunday, you guys uh, have the opportunity to uh, buy into a new lending program. Yes, I said it. And you probably read it from the title. Another one has arised. Um, this one was sent to me, I want to say two days ago. And um, just seeing the name, I, I said to myself, no way. You know what I mean? It's, it's just... There's no way this is going to be legit. No way this is going to be real. Um, I, I looked at it. It seems to be all right. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that it's um, 100% legit. I'm not saying it's 100% real. What I'm saying is, listen, go do your research. I'm going to do a little bit for you right now, but I'm not going to go overboard, okay? So with that being said, I want you guys to at least take a look at it and take a look at the information. If you find that we can make a little bit of money doing it, I suggest that people you know, um, you know, know, act accordingly as far as what they feel comfortable with. But again... Um, if you feel like we're going to lose our money, you know, you can definitely comment below or join us in Telegram um, and let us know. Hey, listen, this one might be a scam. But from what I can tell here, it seems to be OK. OK, I'm just going to put that out there. So far, so good. It's OK. OK. So in any event, um, as you scroll, you'll start to notice that the um, everything kind of looks really nice. I, I have no real complaints about it. The only complaint that I really have is this. So when you go to go click on it. You can click on all of this stuff, but as you guys can see, it's just like an overlay. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan of overlays to actually have see-through. Um, it just it looks annoying to me. Um, but if you click on any of it, it just scrolls. So everything that we're going to look at is going to be right here. Okay? So the uh, first thing I want you guys to see is what is bit caps, right? So they're called bit caps. And the, um, the thing I want you guys to see is uh, that they're not giving out any new information than something that we already know. At the same time, um, they could have done a little bit better with their HTML. As you guys can see, like this is up here. Uh, this one as well is up here, but then this one has like a little bit of a drop down. And I'm thinking, and I don't know what exactly where it came from, but I'm assuming that they did some sort of like center. And um, as you guys can see, there's space at the bottom and there's space at the top. Um, so same thing with over here and then over here, this, this bottom one here as well, and this one here. So I'm assuming it's just centered. But in any event, that's the only that's the only complaint that I would have about their um their HTML. I would like it had just been more to the top and then working its way down. So I could just feel a bit more comfortable. And as you guys can see, the uh, boxes themselves obviously are all the same size. They have a little bit of information, not giving out too much information, but that's good. So then we get to this part right here where it says about. Now again, there's no new information, but it does tell you what system that they're using. So I guess anyone that's really technical in this um can really appreciate what they're saying. Okay, um and then. Again, more technical jargon. Now, here's the about, and here's the other uh, section, right? So, if you click on the about, it'll just take you back to the home page because <clears throat> there is no um, other about section other than what we see, okay? Now, you got wallet, block, um, block explorer, and you got the source code. Now, the reason why the source code is important is because if anyone wants to develop a wallet or if anyone wants to develop anything regarding this, they'll have the opportunity to, and it says coming soon. So that's usually a good sign that they um, are looking to release the source code for anyone that wants to create a wallet. But at the same time, though, or they want to create some sort of platform for it, or if you just want to just add it to whatever you're currently doing, they have they have this. Okay, that's, that's not bad. I, mean, I have no complaints about that. I just want to make sure we're still recording. What I do have a complaint about is the fact that if you hold on to BitCap's wallet, uh, it says the domain is already registered, but I guess there's no website there. So it's kind of like, what's the point of telling us about it? We can't go to it. Same thing here. But at the same time, again, that's just a complaint because it's not there. Um, only because ICO stage is about to happen. So I'm assuming that the funds that we give to start this ICO to get this going um, are going to push them much faster to get this started. So it's not a bad thing. Um, I have no, again, I have no complaints about um, people using the fun sorry those little plus sign at the top one to see what it does what it did and i can't get out all right anyway the um i have no complaints about people using the funds you know most startups they're going to get funds in and then they're going to use those funds to fund whatever project they're looking to start that's just how that works so i have no problem with that i just would have liked it personally if it was already in in production and i can already see the development of it um 
the roadmap. So as you guys can see, December 26th is when the lending program starts. So you won't be able to really make any money with this platform until the day after Christmas. Okay. Then we got January 2018 is when they expect to be listed on CoinMarketCap and the web wallet as well as the uh, block explorer and you know those other things that i just showed you guys so january is when those things will kick off so we probably won't see like a big jump in price until january um and i say big jump i mean like maybe like 300 percent, 500 percent. okay and then we got february so in february they expect to have um they expect to be on coin exchange as well as having the staking wallet available as well as having your ico um i'm sorry the iOS and Android app up and running, okay? Then at that point, um, next year, sometime next year, as you guys can see, they're, they're expecting that they'll have, um, in September, you can apply for your debit card and then the app connecting businesses. Sorry, I wanna make sure we're still recording. Thank you. Okay, and then 2019, you know, they established payment options, businesses, blah, blah, blah. So they, they have a little bit of a ways to go. And like I mentioned before, January and February, if you're looking to buy this and make it a quick flip, you're, you might have that opportunity. Um, between now and January, you're not gonna make really any money. It's not gonna happen until about January, until about February, where this, this coin will maybe start trending towards $6 and somewhere between six and 60 over the next couple months. So. If you're looking to get in at 60 cents and then get out at six dollars this is the coin for you but again you might have to hold for three months if this coin is real but if this coin um this just from the roadmap it shows that they haven't really developed the platform they are didn't do they didn't do the 90 days like they're supposed to do um by having the platform up and ready and then reach out to coin exchange as well as um coin market cap those things should actually come a little bit earlier. Those things are supposed to already be established before ICO starts. And as we can see, ICO is about to start and they haven't even started those processes yet. So that's why you're just gonna see the 90 day period, November, December, January, and then in February, everything else will start to happen. So as far as them paying, the, the, the cost for those things, as far as them building the source code out and, um, and putting the source code onto their website, things like that, um, again, needs to still be developed, which is okay because it does show that there's some validity there. But then again, um, you have to also be very cautious because you're going to be in this for a long time before you actually see the price jump. Okay. So they do have a white paper. If you actually click on this, oh, actually they don't have white paper. I thought they, I thought they did. I don't know why I thought I saw white paper. Hold on. Oh, wow. So there is no actual white paper yet. That's fine. Um, a lot of these platforms did not have a white paper to start with. So, all right. So this is the pricing of the, uh, bit caps. Uh, they're going to do 90,000 at 60 cents and then they're going to jump up to 80, 80 cents. Um, and then they're going to jump up to a dollar and then from a dollar, they'll make their way from one, one dollar and 40 cents, one seventy two dollars two thirty two sixty, And then last but not least, they'll be at almost $3. So $2 and 90 cents. Now, that's a big jump. That's five X of your money by the time ICO nine um, crowd sell starts. But I have to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I think that once this coin does actually hit the market and we do are we able to trade it, I don't think that um, it, it's going to be three dollars trading from door from day one. I just don't I just don't see it. So if anybody is towards that end and they're still trying to get in and they're like, you know what, I'm going to buy it at two ninety, um, expect there to be a somewhat of a dip. Um, maybe it down to about a dollar fifty before you actually see a steady rise back up in price. Okay, um, and then obviously everything else you can deposit um, Bitcoin, Ethernet. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, I'm sorry, not Ethernet. I'm sorry, Ethereum. Um, you can buy straight from the floor, which means they have an exchange. Um, and then um, they have the lending program. You can earn up to thirty nine percent, which is one point three is the max uh, profits. And then they'll give you your money back no, no longer than 219 days. And then as far as the trading goes, register your account, same thing. All that's the same. Sticking, same thing as everywhere else. 12% uh, yearly. I'm assuming that's for year one. And then after that, I guess we'll find out. 
uh, lending program works just like BitConnect, um, where they have the 10 the, from the 100 to um, 1000, and then it goes up by tens. So in order for you to reinvest, you must have at least $10. So that's how that works. And then, um, and then they have the referral and then the lending. So what I'll do is I'm going to actually just stop it right now. And then I'm going to, um, oh yeah, look, and then they expect to be on YoBits, um, as well as coin exchange. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it right now and then I'm going to go into the platform. Okay. So this is the, the um, this is the dashboard, right? So bit caps, I guess the caps stand for, um, cryptocurrency, uh, application payment solution. So that comes from the fact that they want to be a, I guess like a POS machine, a um, point of sale machine for businesses having that application. So I do think that that would actually uh, dif differentiate them between uh, BitConnect, Regal, Hextra, all the other ones that are coming out. So that, that to me looks a little bit promising because in the long run, you do want to have that one little thing that you do different than everyone else. Um, and then obviously they have here, you can deposit Bitcoin, Ethereum. This is where your tokens are. And then they show you how many people are underneath you in your... Um, in your system and then they continue to have this, this countdown until the countdown is over so it will show you how many are sold this is not a super popular one so the early stages are going to be really easy to get into um but at the same time it's going to start to get harder and harder as the time goes but then it'll probably get a lot easier past two dollars and then right here it'll show you again your token limit you can buy is 500 tokens uh and then at 60 cents and current locations that they have are there's this is where they say they are so like new york city i think it's new york right well let me click on it uh canada they have washington state or that's like vancouver area like um over there uh i think that's like you know south america area um a bunch in europe but you know again do we really know that they have these offices already or are these just plans so that's kind of i or i'm assuming that this is just new accounts as far as on the platform and then they haven't been running yet for any days so i don't know why they have this day counter usually when hyp has a day counter that's usually a bad sign that they expect that whatever the amount of time is that you can get your money back let's say it's 25 days um and you'll get your money back because they're giving out four percent that usually is an indicator that they may not run past 25 days and i don't like a day counter I just don't like it because I feel like that's always what you're doing. It's more of a countdown than a count up. Okay. And then uh, this little circle thing right here first, this little circle thing. I can't highlight it. There it is. That little circle thing. If you click on that, it's it, this little thing pops up saying that, are you sure? Warning, this action will reset panel position. So I don't know what that is, but hopefully they explain that because that sounds like it's going to reset everything that you're doing. So if you decide that you're going to put money into this account and you press that button, it is gone. That's what that sounds like to me. And then it has settings. Now, I don't know what's in settings, but it says fixed header. Let's turn that off. Oh, what just happened now? All right. That was, oh, snap. It won't, it won't go back. Let's see if we can get it to come back on. All right. There it is. Okay. So it won't go back on, but it's okay. Okay. There it is. Okay. Then we got a fixed left slider, fixed right slider. I don't know. We already broke enough. Let's not break that again. Hey, you know what? Let's do it. What is this stuff? I don't know what this stuff is. Let me stop pressing stuff. Okay, but anyway, uh, and then we got the menu. The menu bar shows you, again, the settings. It's got 2FA already. Uh, I clicked on it. It didn't do anything, so that's a good thing. Um, okay, so 2FA right now, they, didn't, they, didn't, they don't have it set up, but they plan on having it there. Uh, it didn't come up, right? Good. Okay, and then we got buy token. So if we want to go buy, this is where you're gonna go at when the countdown hits zero. Come on, let's let's see what the let's see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. You'll type it all in. Looks just like a uh, hextra coin. Uh, you put down what you're spending, how many tokens you want to get, and then it will tell you how much you need in Bitcoin, and then you press save, and then it will pop down here. So let's just see what happens when we push it. And that's it. Please come back 1120. All right. And then we got our deposits. So this is where you deposit your cash. And I'll show you guys what you have to do with that. So obviously you take this section right here. You copy that. 
and then you put it into your blockchain and then you deposit your Bitcoin. So this is me depositing $200 worth of Bitcoin. I'm sorry, $130 worth of Bitcoin so I can get 200 coins. And then um, once it was done, I pressed confirm. A little spinny thing, I guess, a little fake spinny thing pops up. And then after a while, it goes away. And then down here, this thing pops up. It didn't pop up initially. So what I had to do is I had to go out and go back. Um, but this little confirm thing goes away after a while. Um, oh, you saw that? That was actually kind of cool. Anyway, um, and then we have withdraw the history, the team, and you can transfer back and forth from Bitcoin and uh, their token, as well as any new news have exchanged the app that they're talking about the library. Um, they have a, quite a few things that are a little bit different. The library is just referral stuff, but it's a little bit different than the other platforms. That might be why I felt comfortable with actually putting some money in. But I'll be honest with you guys. Just be careful. You know what I mean? With these type of platforms, you never know. Um, so. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Definitely join us in Telegram. We have two chat rooms. And um, again, comment, like, subscribe. All right. So um, basically, you guys just saw the uh, the the exp explanation video regarding what this is. Um, Bitcaps is a um, a platform, obviously. Um, I was trying to get in, so I, I assumed I already had posted this video. So I do apologize uh, for anyone that does want to get in now. Um, I thought that I posted the video yesterday and I thought that uh, I was letting everybody get an opportunity to try to buy today. But as I just realized, I actually did not post the video. And the reason why I realized it was that I um, went to go uh, record this one and then in transitioning and recording this one. I also went into my YouTube channel a little bit after just to see if I had any um, comments about it, what people thought about it, you know, even though I did not miss out on buying it. And I realized it didn't have a video on it. So. Uh, if anybody is uh, looking to uh, get involved, I guess, in this platform, you now have the opportunity to because the first time you're hearing about it for others, you're probably already in it. Well, basically, I put in enough to buy about 200 tokens. What I ended up doing was I went from here to buy. Um, I did not refresh anything. All I did was just wait for this little counter right here to show zero, 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 zero. Once that indicator went down to zero, 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 I then typed in my amount that I was looking to purchase, which was 200. And then uh, it says 0 0.180, sorry, 0 0.018, right? Uh, it might not have been enough. I don't think I only have enough to buy like 150 or so. I don't remember how much I put in here. I have 0 0.16. So I guess like 150 is what I was looking to buy now. But now it actually just went up. So it's now 70 cents because they actually did sell 500. Um, I don't think they're selling only 500. I think my buy limit is 500. But they actually did sell pretty damn quick. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to sell so fast. I thought that I would at least have about 10 seconds to buy. Um, but I, I clearly did not. And I would like to know if they had uh, a, a little list. You know how they have like little transactions? They don't have that transaction list here. So basically, you just type in what you're looking for. Let's just say I'm looking for 100. You know, it pops up. What you can do, you press save. And then, or I'm sorry, and it says get. It says uh, get. And then once you press get, it pops in down here. But as you guys know, I did not get. So I forgot how much I was getting. And I might actually be buying more because I didn't know that this was a little bit more popular than I assumed. I just thought that, you know, again, I like to buy in like 150, 250. And then if popularity grows after the next couple of days, then I will buy in again at like 80 or 90 cents. Um, cause I don't really mind paying about a dollar for most of them. I don't mind paying like $2 for most of them, but that's it. I just want to let you guys know, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, that's the way that works. This was really, really popular. It's selling really fast. So if you guys want to get in, you now have the opportunity to get in tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to comment, like subscribe, and definitely join us in telegram.